Welcome to Gorgeous Millipedes. No. Gherkins Moldy. No. Gary Lanica Masturbates. No. Gossip Mongers. Yes. 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 That's it. Yes. Gossip Mongers. Fantastic. Here we go then. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Gossip number one. Um, hi, this sorry, this is from Joanna. Hi, I work for a well-known charity who deliver workplace first aid training. I used to work in customer services, and one day we received an email about a member of the public who was banned from attending any of our courses. The email only had his name, which unfortunately I can't remember. <laughs> stated if he was to call or email <laughs> we were under no circumstances <laughs> allowed to book him onto a course <laughs> I'm intrigued oh, yeah intrigued uh, I searched his name on the database to see why he was banned mm. how could anyone be banned from learning first aid <laughs> uh, uh, it turns out he used to purposely show shit himself on courses. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds... What? The notes on his account simply said, defecates on courses. <laughs> <laughs> Do not book. <laughs> <laughs> Speak to manager if necessary. <laughs> Banned for life. Banned for life. So basic. <laughs> Oh, God. Apparently, it happened around three times. I thought you were going to say 3 p.m. <laughs> Every time. Don't do the afternoon course with him. <laughs> I don't know how the, the teacher or fellow students discovered this, that he pooed himself, whether he told them or just waited for the stench to hit them. It's a mystery. He was a living legend in the department for a time I worked there. Legend. Legend. <laughs> Known simply as that one who pooed on a course. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish I knew more information. Oh, Thank dear. you, Joanna. You're an absolute superstar. I know more. Gossip number two. This is from Anonymous. <coughs> Hi, all. I've recently moved in with my fiance and have noticed her neighbour is a bit strange. I spotted her doing the summertime sitting in her back garden, topless, wearing only her bikini bottoms. She's 76. <laughs> Good luck. I spotted this anomaly due to being able to see directly into her back garden from my partner's bedroom window. What's weirder than the nudity is that she likes to clean her pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> What's her pebbles? Is it pebbles or is it something else? I don't know. With a hose pipe <laughs> during the hottest part of the day. <laughs> Clean her pebbles. I'm so intrigued, it's killing me. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I wish that that was some sort of innuendo, oh, right. but she is in fact, she in fact has four crates full of small white pebbles <laughs> <laughs> that she keeps in her garden shed. I could understand if they were washed once a year and used on her flower beds. But this is a weekly occurrence. And after they're clean, the pebbles are put back in the shed. It's really bothering me. Uh, it's bothering me as well. Does anybody else do this? <laughs> No, just topless <laughs> pebble washer. It frightens me how she covers the end of the hose pipe with one finger to make it spray whilst gritting her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it's just dawned on me that they could be baby skulls. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, baby skull. Baby skull. He's, he's right. Let it go, man. Get on with your day. <laughs> Just look the other way. Pull the curtains. Baby skull. Straight away little, jump into that. Twist. Oh, God. <laughs> Gossip number three. Right, this is from Anonymous. Uh, there was a guy in the town where I grew up called Blind Chris. He was and presum presumably is, still is, blind. 
as his name suggests. The story I heard was that he lost his sight in some kind of tragic accident involving hay bales. But anyway, that isn't the gossip. The gossip is that my mate's grandma reckons he isn't actually blind at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nosy grandma. <laughs> she runs a news agents and she reckons when he comes into the shop, she can see his eyes following all the young girls around. <laughs> it's all an act, according to my nan. If it is, he has gone to a fairly extreme lengths because he must have lived in the town for 40 plus years. <laughs> And he's kept it up the whole time. <laughs> I think Granny's just a bit of a nosy bitch. Also, my mate was walking home from the pub one night and saw him fall straight into a big hole. <laughs> oh, God. That the water company had dug in the road. <laughs> I don't know. Well, should we be it, laughing? Just in case anyone sees it. Yeah, a bit of I'll, jump in I'll here. I'll prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Gossip number four. Okay, this is from Matt from Manchester. <clears throat> Hi, David, Joe, and Poppy. A mate of mine used to attend a life drawing class where artists and hobbyists alike would practice drawing human anatomy from a nude model. At one of the lessons, my mate was drawing when something started beading from the model's penis down onto the floor. Too long and stringy to be piss. It was definitely cum. <laughs> well, it just came out. Actually, <laughs> medical assistant. What? But he'd be flaccid. Yeah, but what's it just bubbling Read out? On. Okay. Read on. Read on. About to find out. Don't stop there. Oh. Uh, my mate looked around like I can't be the only one seeing this right. <laughs> but everyone was carrying on like nothing was happening. <laughs> They'd seen it all before. We we reckon that the model had knocked one out in the toilets beforehand. Oh my oh god. god. Scared that he might oh, scared that he might have gotten a boner during the class. That's exactly what he did. Yeah, definitely. Or that he was trying to make his knob look bigger for the drawings. <laughs> <laughs> I like an insecure model. Yeah. Life you model. know what? Yeah. Do something else then. Yeah, you don't have to do that. What do you mean? Be a oh, road sweeper. Hell. Either way. It's not good money either. <laughs> Does it not, mate? It's really not, mate. Um, <laughs> either way, it was fucking rank. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Gossip number five. This is from Tom. Uh, I have a bit of gossip concerning the provenance of a much loved 70s hit song. I was told this gossip by my mum's ex-boyfriend, affectionately known as Bonsoir. <laughs> <laughs> it was the summer of 79 and Bonsoir and his mates <laughs> were enjoying the school holidays by engaging who's, in sorry, some... Who's Bonsoir? His mum's ex? Yeah. His mum's ex-boyfriend, it's Bonsoir. Bonsoir. <laughs> Fucking amazing. It was the summer of 79 and Bonsoir and his mates were enjoying the school holidays by engaging in some underage drinking at Holm Pierpoint Water Sports Centre in Nottingham. <laughs> Sounds like the place to do it. <laughs> Whilst on a raft in the middle of a lake, one of the lads noticed a bottle that appeared to have some paper inside it. <laughs> Instead of investigating further, they apparently, all simultaneously and without any discussion, began to chant, Message in a bottle, <laughs> message in a bottle, <laughs> message in a bottle. <laughs> this curious incident was soon forgotten as they continued with their lazy summer afternoon on the lake. <laughs> Cut to the evening and the lads had got tickets to see a hot new band, the police, playing at their school. <laughs> <laughs> I looked this part up, and despite sounding utter bollocks, they did actually play at the school in 1979. Oh, God. Okay. They were enjoying some of the hits when all of a sudden the singer announced that they were about to try out a new song that they'd written that very afternoon. 
<laughs> Lo and behold, they then launched into the song Message in a Bottle. <laughs> to this day, Bonsoir <laughs> is convinced that Sting overheard their ch- <laughs> on the lake and is still annoyed that he never received any songwriting royalties. <laughs> Bonsoir. Oh, absolutely Rock. incredible. <laughs> Message in a bottle by Bonsoir. <laughs> Gossip number six. Celebrity. Ross Nobel. Hello there, this is Ross Noble here with some showbiz gossip. This concerns uh, my mate's mum lives next door to this bloke who had a job incinerating medical waste at the local hospital. And uh, this lad got wind that uh, Arthur Askey, the popular variety comedian, star of stage and screen, was due to come in to be operated on. Um, He found out that due to poor circulation, uh, which had resulted in gangrene, uh, big heart that Arthur, as he was known as, had to have uh, both his legs amputated. So this fella, after the op, faster than you could say, hello, playmates, uh, he stole Arthur's legs and pickled them in a fish tank. And to this day, he keeps them in his garage. And for any fans of the glory days of British variety, or just legs in general, uh, he'll show them to you for five pound. Yes, thank you. Gossip number seven. Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't say who it's from, this one. Growing up, I always dreamed of swimming with dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> as I imagine many of us do. <laughs> this story, however... <laughs> May change your opinion <laughs> of the gentle of these gentle kind creatures. <laughs> <laughs> At my uni, there was a girl and two of her friends who headed to Florida to swim with dolphins and tick it off their bucket list. Little did they know what lay ahead. <laughs> Towards the end of the experience, the girls were waiting for the dolphin to carry them across the lagoon (laughs) when things took a sinister turn. (laughs) Oh, God. Two of the friends safely made it back, Mm. but one unfortunately caught the dolphin's eye. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) He definitely wanted a piece and started dunking her. (laughs) Fins on shoulders... Mounting her from behind. Fucking hell. She was being bobbed up and down. (laughs) And then saw a giant pink dolphin dick appear (laughs) from under the water. (laughs) Oh, God. The dolphin dick started jabbing her. Oh, God, jabbing. It knew where to go. (laughs) (laughs) It knew. The two rejected girls then raised the alarm and the victim was rescued by staff. (laughs) On the way out... Caretaker. (laughs) Len. Len came in with a stick. On the way out, the victim took one look... On the way out, the victim took one last look at her admirer to see him eyeballing her. (laughs) And she swears... She saw him wink. (laughs) And click. (laughs) No word of a lie. The girl is still in therapy. Hashtag dolphin dick. (laughs) That's our first hashtag. Oh, Oh, God, I don't know what I'm laughing at there. Gossip number eight. (laughs) This is from Robert. Uh... Growing up, one of my best mates went to an all-boys high school. I was always jealous of his stories, and one in particular stays with me to this day. During a philosophy lesson, my mate was handed a note from a fellow classmate. 
ground floor toilets go now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go on. We've all sat Need. up. <laughs> we were slouching uh, a little. <laughs> when the bell rang, the entire class fled out down to the ground floor toilets. When he got there, there was a huge queue for the gents. In typically British fashion, a line of very excitable lads <laughs> snaked around the ground floor toilet entrance to the library, which was at least a block away. They waited patiently to, to get a good look at what was in there. All people could hear from the front of the queue was, oh, my God. <laughs> and wow. <laughs> An unbelievable lad. <laughs> and at the front stood a boy. His name was Ben Rossiter, <laughs> who had done what one lad described as the biggest human shit of all time. Wow. Ben Rossiter stood there, proud as punch. <laughs> no like, like an artist next to his work. <laughs> nodding to everyone's exclamations as they passed. <laughs> My, my, my mate said it was as large as a full-size rugby ball. <laughs> Complete dome with no breakage. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, everyone who does a large log claims it as a Rossiter. <laughs> what a guy. Gossip number nine. Uh, this is from Dave Bolton. Hi, Joe, Dave and Poppy. Back in the early 70s in the north of England, a load of kids opened their Mr Spock Action Man dolls on Christmas Day, <laughs> only to find their Mr Spock didn't have a nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's because my mum, Diane, got her first job after secondary school at a toy factory production line where she had to check every Mr Spock was in a fit state to go on sale. My mum, being bored as fuck with her job, bit the nose off every Mr Spock that passed on the conveyor belt. Your mum's off her fucking rocker. Which passed inspection and was packaged appropriately ready for shipment. <laughs> <laughs> it says it's entitled My Mum and Spock's Nose. <laughs> That's amazing. Bonus gossip her brother Michael had a job at Rat Bones, the bread bakers, <laughs> and every so often would flick a meaty bogey into the huge no. dough machine. Gross, gross, I remember gross. being about seven or eight and making a jam butty and my mum telling me to check the bread for lumps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you savage. Joe Pulpy and David will now choose their favourite rumour. OK, here's the top five of this episode. Number one is the world's biggest dump. <laughs> <laughs> Number two is Bonsoir wrote message in a bottle. Oh, yeah, sorry. Don't need to hear the rest. <laughs> Number three is dolphin dick. Oh, yeah, actually. Dolphin Number four is white pebble cleaning. Mm, that's good. And number five is first aida shitting. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. There's three there, though. Mm. Yeah. So, um... world's biggest dump. <laughs> Bonsoir wrote message in a bottle. Dolphin dick. White pebble cleaning and first aid shitter. I'm sticking with Bonsoir. I think Bonsoir as well. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah. On other days, a couple of those other ones could have won. Yeah. I think bon the fact that it's Bonsoir so, was it's so. You're going for Bonsoir? Yeah. Are you a little bit disappointed? No, you? not at all. No. Are you thinking it like you I don't know, really. You wanted a. You wanted a it wasn't a standout. You don't think Bonsoir was? No, well, that's absolutely fine. Well, blow, we've never had this sort of discussion. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> no, no, go for it. Do what you want. <laughs> Fucking hell. No, there isn't any that. Uh, no, no. That was then, I mean, um... there's Blind Chris. Who's Blind Chris? Oh, Blind it's Nan. Is... Yeah, he's but he didn't make the top five, so he's irrelevant. It's a good uh... bunch. Right, there. Bonsoir wrote Messages in a Bottle. Should I do you sure? Yeah. Oh, well, there seems to be some... There's no, no one, not oh, at all. Dates. No, no, no. There's no, a lot of no. this, a what passive, the... aggressive... No, no, no. Yeah, no, I was literally thinking there's nothing else that... What was the top five again? 
just put okay. It, well, put the top it next five is to... world's biggest dump. Okay, what was <laughs> Bonsoir bon wrote message in a bottle. Yeah. Dolphin dick. Yeah. White pebble cleaning and first aid shitting. First aid shitting is was very well written. Yeah, I feel like the pebble one, we laughed a lot, but maybe not as much as. Yeah. Bonsoir, I think, just has has a cracking little story at the heart of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna put my foot down, guys. Actually. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll do it then. Right. right. Out the window. What's, what's the crowd like out today? Mm, it's quieter. Quieter. Oh, it's Podcast is failing then. Uh, mm. Where to begin? <laughs> to- um, totally forgotten it, haven't you? Someone's mum's ex-boyfriend was called Bonsoir. <laughs> <laughs> Nicknamed Bonsoir. <laughs> and Bonsoir uh, said that he was um, having a drink with his friends when they were younger. And they found a message in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> on a lake in Nottingham. <laughs> on a lake in Nottingham. By the Nottingham. leisure centre, I think. Next door to the leisure centre. <laughs> uh, next door to the leisure centre. <laughs> um, uh, um, yeah, so they saw it and started going, message in a bottle, message in a bottle. <laughs> God, you sound like a robot. <laughs> <laughs> message in a bottle, message in a bottle. <laughs> Bloody effort in, you're shouting down at 40... 40- Thirty-five Sorry. people. Maybe, well, um, then Sting must have heard <laughs> because that night they said we've got a brand new song we just wrote this afternoon. It's called "Message in a Bottle." The end. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Window closed. Ah. Oh, well, good fun. Too. That was yeah. good fun. Yeah. Oh, great. Good episode. Good good. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for writing in, everyone. And yeah. Uh, yeah. as we say on the podcast. Oh, uh, from us all at Gossip Munger. <laughs> <laughs> Gossip Munger. We, uh, <laughs> we, uh, um, we, we you. bid you farewell. We, we bid you we good bid night. You. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.